hi let us discuss about uh, components of swings so let us discuss about few components uh, from swings there are so many co components uh, out of those uh, some of them uh, if you know if you study some of them then remaining things are very easy to understand so the components are like this j applet j frame j label text field button check box radio button combo box scroll pane tab pane j tree these are all the basic components if you know these uh, basic components then remaining things we can understand on our own now let us start with the uh, applet applet is uh, a small application written in java program if you want to write an applet if you want to create an applet you have to inherit the applet class of course there is a applet class in uh, awt package in uh, swings also we have another applet this applet j applet is created by inheriting the existing awt applet so here is the class diagram for uh, uh, this and um, applet is from awt j applet is from swing okay now applet we have to comp uh, compile the applet program when we compile the applet program it will be converted into bytecode now that bytecode should be executed that bytecode should be executed within a browser so you cannot execute an applet uh, like a normal java program you have to execute only in a browser um, that's why we will not see main method in uh, applet instead we will see life cycle methods of the applet so this is the sample program for applet first uh, first line is import java x dot swing import java x dot swing dot uh, j applet so uh, this uh, statement is nothing but that we are importing um, a class from our swing package that class name is j applet and of course we are using some of the classes of awt that's why we are uh, writing uh, import java dot awt import java dot awt now when we look at this uh, tag this tag is applet tag and it is supposed to be in um, html program so for suppose if you look at that one so this is the sample html program here we see html head body all those things within that there is applet tag okay now this applet tag we will place within the html program and we will tell where the bytecode is by using the code attribute and of course how much height is required for applet to be displayed in the browser how much width is required to, uh, uh, for an applet to be displayed in the browser we will specify here it is mentioned as 00, zero but not 00, zero we will be using at least 50 or 100 for as height as well as width when you see the code it is uh, the compile it is representing it is uh, telling the compiled code byte code so the extension for byte code is dot class so if you create a program otherwise if you write a class with name my caplet after the compilation it will create a uh, another file with the same name of the class and the extension will be dot class so that is the concept what you what you have studied in uh, um, java so now when you look at this program here what we are doing is we are ex we are writing the applet tag within the java program itself in terms of in terms of comments in terms of comments and uh, we, we are going because we are going to execute this program within applet viewer applet viewer is a program um, which is used to execute the applet this is only for development purpose for the user 
they have to use a browser so we user will be viewing our application by using a browser um, but for development purpose we can uh, execute our program by using uh, another uh, small program called applet viewer applet viewer requires only the applet tag so applet tag we will write in the java program in terms of a comment okay so now the first step is we are writing a class by extending existing j applet class that is the first point when you are creating an applet we have to create a class by extending the existing j applet and the second one is we have to override its lifecycle methods what are the lifecycle methods these are the lifecycle methods of an uh, applet um, in it it will be called at the starting uh, of the execution of the applet and it will be called only once it is used for loading and acquiring the resources and start uh, method will be called automatically this is an, uh, another uh, uh, method lifecycle method and uh, it will be executed whenever uh, applet uh, starts its uh, execution before it becomes visible for suppose if the applet is not visible still it is running but it is not visible then what will happen stop will be executed so uh, again for suppose one example is user will minimize the window when the user minimizes the mi window stop will be called user again will maximize the window when the user maximizes the window uh, again start method will be called like that it is and paint method is a method in which uh, uh, we, we write the code uh, uh, to write something into the applet if you want to write something if you want to draw something into uh, the applet we will be using paint method and uh, last one is destroy method destroy method will be called before uh, uh, the, uh, removing the applet before uh, stop um, uh, deleting the applet otherwise the uh, before uh, closing that applet the destroy will be uh, called and uh, uh, in the destroy we can uh, uh, release the resources which were acquired by the applet so now when we uh, look at the sample program when we look at the sample program in this uh, sample program uh, we overridden in it we've overridden start stop and destroy in all these methods we are simply printing system dot out dot println and uh, we are uh, printing something within the command prompt uh, generally by using init or start or stop or destroy we will not interact with the user simply to perform some operations we will use this one but mainly paint is uh, the one uh, uh, which displays uh, uh, something within the applet of course in init also we will be using that one but most of the times we will not use the start stop and destroy those are used in the background and uh, in some purposes we will be using that one but mainly we will be using init as well as paint so that is about uh, applet in the next video uh, we will uh, uh, discuss about label button and text field